Why? Why, little boozy, you take your little peanut head ass down to the motherfucking Instagram talking about somebody else's motherfucking child? I'm here, just scrolling, and once again, my girl Zara, <laughs> she pointed something out, and it has to do with boozy. Boozy always have said some some crazy, wild, problematic shit. I had to step out of my, my slides for a minute because I'm going to start dancing in this motherfucker. Boozy, shut the fuck up. Why are you so concerned about someone else's kid, how someone else's parents and their motherfucking kid, you got eight kids and you want a grown mo- woman for your fucking, to rape your 14-year-old son? You talking about you lost your virginity at 12 years old and you a man. Nigga, you got raped, you piece of shit. How the fuck you gonna talk about somebody else's kid? Okay, this is what's so upsetting about this because a lot of people's coming out their motherfucking mouth. Recently, um, Dwayne Wade and his wife, Gabrielle Union, Wade, um, announced to the world that their son formerly known as Zion, is now Zaya. That's, I guess that's how you pronounce Zaya. She's a trans, she's um transgender, and she wants to be called Zaya. Her pronouns are she and her. And somehow people have a problem with it. And I'm just totally annoyed and disgusted because we... We have to applaud them. We have to applaud the ways because they're loving on their child. They're loving on their fucking child and everybody should be loving on their child. Everybody can get some tips from the ways about loving on their child for who the fuck they are. Oh, they don't know um, what they are. We don't know nothing about sexuality and all this and all that. Word. We don't know nothing about sexuality. Word. That's what it is. They're too young for this. They're too young for that. Word. Too young. Mm. So if they're too young, how do we know that they're heterosexual, right? There have always been transgender people. There have always been gay people. There have always been lesbians. There have always been bisexual. Queer people have always been around us. Always. They've been here just as long as we have been here. They have always been around us. They've always been around us. Yes, they've been silenced, especially in our community. When I say our community, I mean the Black community. They've they've always been in our community. They've always been around. They're in our family. They're at our jobs. Wherever. They've just been silenced. So all this nonsense and this uh, misogyny and transphobic bullshit that's going on and people are spewing out their fucking mouth or whatever is pissing me the fuck off with the waves. And I just can't fucking take it anymore because I love how they love it on their fucking kid and we need more parents. Like, And not just because, you know, Zaya decided that that's what she, not decided, but that's who she really is. Be that way with all your fucking kids. Support them. Love on them. Support them and love them. Support them and love them. My son get on my motherfucking nerves. He be climbing the walls. Like he's Spider-Man. But I be like, I love on him. I love on him. I let him watch more Spider-Man. Even though he think he is. Love on your babies. We need that. It's so many kids that are committing suicide because they... they they too afraid to be who they really are. They're afraid to come out to their parents. They're worried about their safety. And they're loving on a fucking kid. And he, excuse me, she feels comfortable being who she is because she has some people in her life that love her and support her. How the fuck boozy with your eight kids with probably 10 baby mamas somehow have the audacity to talk about somebody else. And then the video, I I took my ass down to his Instagram and I saw that shit. And I wanted to go off in the fucking comments. But he already being dragged by his peasy head any fucking way up and down the internet. I just wanted to go in. But fuck it. I said, let me get up and do a video because I'm so sick of his fucking mouth talking about somebody else's kids. Raise your eight fucking kids that you feed in 
fucking oodles and noodles and fucking um kool-aid burst and stuff talking about my kids eat good and you got a pantry full of sugar diabetes and msg get the fuck out of here i ain't see not one fruit and vegetable in your in your goddamn refrigerator or something that didn't have fucking um fructose corn syrup in your pantry and my kids eat good my kids are good yet you want your 40 year old son to be raped by a grain a grown woman get the fuck out of here boozy like i can't and then you had the audacity to keep misgendering her and just saying like he fucked up this is too far we don't own our kids if we don't control our kids all that is going to make them break away or not even want to be around you. Look what happened with T on his situation. It's about control. You don't control your kids. Yes, they came for us. They came from your body. We, you know, with a, whatever you help create it, but you can't control them. And that's who the fuck she is. And her fucking parents are loving on her. Her parents are loving on her. And you have a problem with that? Supporting and loving your kid? But no, your support and loving the kid is making sure your son having sex at 14 years old and giving him oodles and noodles, right? And cup of noodles and Kool-Aid bursts, right? And Capri Suns, right? And Sunny D, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you call loving on your fucking kid? Get the fuck out of here, Boozy. I just can't. I can't. And I'm just so happy everybody dragging you up and down, up and down the Twitter because you ain't shit. How you come out your face and you in the gym getting all upset? Why are you upset? You got eight kids. Worry about eight, raising those eight kids on cup of noodles. Don't worry about what some other parents are doing with their kid. And it doesn't affect you. They're not hurting. They're loving and respectful and supportive. Meanwhile, you over here in the gym with your scrawny ass. I just can't. I just had to just talk about that real quick because i'm just so sick and another thing ricky smiley your ass got dragged too talking about um they um um people don't want to see kids with dreads but they rather see a man in a dress word because you be at them tyler perry premieres so i'm com- Medea premieres so i'm confused one of your big biggest characters is a church lady a woman a black woman in a dress <sighs> There's always been people doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You know, if you want to call it a cross-dresser, a drag queen, whatever. They always have been around us. Always. Always have been around us. Why the fuck you acting like, oh, that's what people want to see? That sort of... Mm. Word? Is that what we're doing? Boozy, fuck you. And then, neither Zaya... Dwayne Wade or Gabrielle Union Wade said anything about her having uh, reassignment surgery, but yet you want to come out your face and say that and drop that fucking fake news shit. You don't know what the hell is going on in the family. You don't understand what loving, supportive, respectful parents do because you ain't shit. You ain't shit. I just feel bad for your eight kids. And I'm going to say it just like that. Fuck that. I feel bad for your eight kids. Because they already got diabetes and high blood pressure, I'm sure, for the bullshit you feeding them. And who knows what you fucking teaching them. Who the fuck knows? Do your eight-year-old got fronts and, like, six gold chains? That's what's happening. Anywho, I just had to express that because I was just over it. I, I was just over it. So I'm going to calm down and um probably still go in his fucking DMs and curse him the fuck out. Good night, y'all. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about the Wades loving on a baby. Tell me what you think about Boozy and his dumb ass. Tell me think what you think about Ricky smiling and his dumb ass or whatever. When he's worn a dress, he's made money by having... A character he created is a church lady and he wear a dress and a wig. So what you got a mustache? You got a wig and you got a dress on. So please stop playing with me. Like, please, please stop playing with me. You wear a dress every day if you get the money like um freaking Tyler Perry slash Medea do. So Ricky Smiley, go have a seat too. Let's discuss.